is a demonstration of rolling a tube with a Harbor Freight tubing roller. Um, the tubing I'm going to roll today is a one and a half inch diameter 35 uh, mil wall uh, chrome molly tube. The tubing bender that you get from Harbor Freight uh, is this piece right here. And it comes with a little wheelie thing to uh, roll the wheel in and out. The uh, stand is an extra 50 bucks. Uh, tubing bender costs around 150. I have a uh, large wrench here that I put on the top to make it easier to push the bolt down. The uh, tubing roller has three rollers. Um, and the idea is you put the tube in through there, you tighten down the top roller and it puts pressure on uh, the tube and then you roll the tube back and forth and um, that will gradually put a bend in it. So let's start. Uh, when you roll the tube back and forth, you're not going to be able to roll the last six inches of the tube. So the uh, last six inches of the tube is, is wasted. So I'm going to roll it right down to the end here. And then tighten it down. about one grunt to tighten it. And I'm going to roll it the entire length of the part I want. And typically I, I roll it uh, down the back. And now we're ready to put another one point of pressure on it. As you can see, each time you increase the pressure, it doesn't make much of a change in the tube shape. But, this time, gradually, starts to bend. This is important because with chromoly tubing, you don't want to bend it too fast. Chromoly tubing kinks really easily. So you can't use a regular pipe bender, a, a hydraulic pipe bender, or else you're just going to kink the tubes. The trick to getting the tube the right diameter is when it starts getting close, you take it out of the bender and you put it on your drawing and you look to see if it lines up. And this one still needs a little more bending. It generally takes about 20 minutes to bend a tube. Go back and forth, and then going and taking it out and measuring on it while you're drawing. This size tube, I've been able to uh, bend to about the diameter of the outside of a 26 inch tire. So that's about a 13 or 14 inch inside diameter. I'm sorry. 
inside radius, 13 or 14 inch inside radius. You can see, slowly, it's getting pretty well bent. So here's what I ended up with. Uh, it's the right diameter. I checked it on my drawing. It's perfect. Uh, and you can make one too. Very easy.